The Gainesville plant builds a wide range of laminated square frame adjustable speed AC and DC motors, in addition to Navy, nuclear, and mine motors. Bar stock is converted into a motor shaft using automated shaft turning lathe. Finished brackets are machined from high quality castings. All finished brackets get a complete QA inspection. Rotors can be cast aluminum or interior permanent magnet design as seen here. Rotor laminations are stacked and magnets are inserted. Additional laminations are stacked in layers. Magnets are inserted. End plates hold the final rotor lamination stack together with through bolts. Aluminum cast rotors are preheated to minimize mechanical stresses during shaft insertion. The shaft is pressed into the rotor ID to create a completed rotating shaft assembly. The rotor OD is trim cut to obtain proper air gap tolerance. The rotating assembly is dynamically balanced to precise engineering specification limits. Coils of magnet wire are wound in preparation for motor assembly for motors with hand inserted winding. Hand wound motors require the insertion of slot cell insulation material. Winding coils are carefully inserted into the insulated slot cell. Great care is taken to make the internal winding connections. Every completed winding gets a check test to ensure that all connections have been made properly. The extended coil heads on each end of the motor winding are tightly secured to prevent coil head movement. Some windings get an underwater test. Automated coil winder is used for machine inserted winding. After the coil windings are completed, they are transferred to an automatic winding insert operation. Wound coil groups are inserted into the insulated slot cells with automated winding equipment. Wound frame assemblies go through a dip and bake process which isn't shown here. Rotating assemblies are matched up with complete frame winding assemblies after the varnish process and are ready for final assembly. Grease is applied to the inside of the bracket bearing cavity. The bearings are lubricated and the brackets are assembled to the motor. Accessory features are added to motor. Here, a brake assembly is being installed. A blower assembly is being added to a blower cooled motor. As part of the final inspection process, shaft dimensions are carefully checked in addition to shaft runout. Every motor gets a dynamometer check test and a final QA inspection. DC frame laminations with integral interpoles are stacked and measured. 
A laminated DC frame improves commutation and allows for increased rating per frame size. Automated Machining Center ensures precision machining of both AC and DC frames. Skewed armature core reduces cogging at low speeds. Commutator is heated and positioned on shaft. Class H Nomex slot cell liners are inserted and armature coils are hand inserted. AC high potential check for grounds, bar to bar resistance inspection checking for misconnects. Vacuum pressure impregnation ensures complete varnish penetration. Automated precision undercutting of mica helps ensure optimum commutation. Armature is dynamic balance to customer specifications. DC high potential test checks for grounds. Surge test checking for turn to turn shorts or grounds. XT paint applied to prevent corrosion in demanding applications. Bearing installed on DC armature. Fields and intercoils installed along with main pole shim. Internal connections secured and insulated. DC motor set up for final test. Brushes are seated for optimum commutation. All DC motors tested at no load and full load at rated voltage. Base speed and field weakened speed. Neutral set for same speed capability in either direction of rotation. Baldor is the largest supplier of motors to the US Navy and Coast Guard fleet meeting extremely rigid Navy and Marine specifications. Baldor builds Navy Service A motors and a complete line of commercial Marine duty motors. Baldor builds a complete line of nuclear motors for Class 1E safety-related application for both harsh and mild environments. Submersible motors are another part of Baldor's specialty product offering. Here we see the assembly of a submersible motor with internal and external face seals being installed, which surrounds an oil chamber to trap water. The lead cable sealing is a unique process developed to prevent water intrusion into the motor.
Baldor builds mine motors for both above and below ground mining applications. The barcode from the manufacturing bill of material is scanned and the proper motor nameplate data is automatically loaded to the nameplate machine. After stamping, the completed nameplate is attached to the motor. Custom and stock motors are prepared for shipment. Final motors are transferred off the assembly line in preparation for shipment. Our advanced technology lab located in Greenville, South Carolina provides additional technical support. Materials Lab provides extensive testing and evaluation of materials. A sound room is used for motor noise testing. A seismic mass is used for vibration analysis. Extensive dynamometer testing facilities allows Baldor to test a wide range of motors under various load, voltages, and power conditions. Baldor, the industrial choice.